Hi there, I hope everyone's having a great summer. Uh, I'd like to just share with you some vinyl I've been listening to uh, in the past like two weeks and basically the theme is uh, summer and July and 4th of July and the Independence Day is celebrated in America. It's a big deal, it's a public holiday and uh, it's quite, uh, it's morphed into something that's very festive. You got lots of fireworks going on and families getting together. So I was kind of like in that mood and I want to show you uh, this vinyl uh, that, I, that I think is really fantastic. It's a double LP soundtrack of the uh, documentary film called Summer of Soul, uh, which uh, premiered or was released uh, two years ago in 2021 in the summer. And basically that documentary uh, is about uh, this festival, this uh, what was, it was called the Harlem Cultural Festival, uh, that took place in 1969 over a series of weekends, mainly uh, in July and August. And in 1969, uh, that festival had some huge names performing, and it was really exciting to to watch the documentary in the theater because I, I managed to see it. I got a ticket. There was a limited uh, theatrical release uh, in the UK two years ago, so I did manage to see it in the. Theater and wow, you know, to see every all these performers on the big screen, it was fantastic. So some of the big names I'll just uh, mention very quickly because uh, this really doesn't do do it justice. So it's BB King, The Fifth Dimension, David Ruffin. Uh, I, I can't believe his imp improvisation uh, on stage. He's so good with the audience and uh, the way he improvises with his lyrics and singing and his falsetto is just uh, extraordinary. Uh, and then you've got the Edwin Hawkins singers and I love gospel music and they perform Oh Happy Day which was a huge international hit at that time. So and, and they're from Oakland, California so that's pretty cool. And the staple singers, right? you got Mavis etc. And then she performs with uh, Mahalia Jackson singing a song called Precious Lord Take My Hand. Uh, Gladys Knights and the Pips, uh, Herbie Mann and Sly and the Family Stone and Nina Simone and there are so many more. That documentary was taken uh, from 40 hours worth of concert film that was shot. TV producer filmed the whole lot and there's like still so much footage and all that footage was actually sitting in a basement in storage uh, 50 years so it's fantastic that uh, you know this documentary uh, was made and a lot of people kind of call it the the black woodstock this stevie wonder lp hotter than july wow 1980 and uh, this is one of the um, Stevie Wonder albums I really love because it got like back to back hits. So he said, Did I hear you say you love me? All I do. Rocket Love, which is fantastic. This is a really cool ballad. Uh, I Ain't Gonna Stand For It. Uh, As If You Read My Mind. Master Blaster, that's really funky. Do You Like You. Cash In Your Face. Lately is another lovely ballad. And Happy Birthday. This album really is a celebration of uh, Martin Luther King's birthday becoming a public holiday in 1981. So. Uh, Stevie Wonder actually dedicates this album to the fact that uh, Martin Luther King's uh, birthday is going to be a national public holiday in the United States and it's really lovely. I'll show you the sleeve. You can see this is the um, original sleeve of the LP. So you've got lots of uh, images of the civil rights movement, the marches uh, that were taking place um, mainly in the south in the 60s and I find this very interesting. So Stevie Wonder, he actually signs off on his dedication as uh, Steve Lynn Morris aka Stevie Wonder. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a great LP. Uh, I have it on CD as well. Uh, it's just nice to, to listen to it on vinyl. I love you too. <laughs> and I've got most of the albums, uh, mainly in the 80s, right? And uh, you too, The Unforgettable Fire in 1984. So I'm sticking with the uh, 4th of July, kind of the America Independence Day kind of theme. And there's a song called 4th of July here. And it, there are no lyrics, it's just an uh, instrumental piece, uh, basically with a bass. And uh, it, it seems like a bit of a, a segue piece, but it's really haunting and it, it's really lovely. It's only two and a half minutes, but it's a really wonderful, um, melodic uh, 
kind of haunting tune. Um, and then there's another uh, song on here, and again, you know, I, I, I just, uh, this is just by coincidence, MLK. And it's about two and a half minutes. It's such a beautiful song, and for me, when I listen to it, um, it, it sounds very religious and very spiritual. And I think that's a, a really underrated um, song. It didn't get much play, not that I can recall, uh, in 1984 when this album came out. So uh, I've been reading some comments online about that song and a lot of people are saying, you know, they connect this song with, uh, you know, people, uh, lost loved ones or, you know, someone commented that, you know, they, they want that song played at their funeral. They find consolation listening to this song called MLK, which, you know, it's a reference to Martin Luther King. And interesting enough, I only noticed it now, is that the B-side of uh, The Unforgettable Fire it has a real American theme to it. So you've got uh, 4th of July, then you've got Bad, uh, and then you've got a song called Indian Summer Sky, and then another song, Elvis Presley and America, and then it ends with MLK. So I'll show you the sleeve here, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's really nice to, to see how in the uh, 1980s, you had that hard, really sturdy cardboard sleeve for the vinyl and I really like it and uh, you know you've got that nice uh, photograph a great band I want to show you uh, this uh, Bruce Springsteen uh, box set I have uh, it's a 5 LP box set um, I'm normally uh, not into box sets but I, I thought this was just so wonderful I want to show you the first record it features a 4th of July Asbury Park Sandy on record 2 it's Independence Day. It's a record two in this box set. Both songs are so lovely. Uh, iconic Springsteen, right? The boss, right? And uh, it's very folksy and uh, again, powerful lyrics. Uh, just really wonderful songs. So it's nice to kind of stick with this theme and then explore like different artists doing this theme. And it was kind of fun for me. Um, and I want to show you. Uh, so here's the sleeve. You got a picture there. Then you got, so each each of the records in this album, uh, box set that is, you've got uh, photographs from his live performances. So, you know, all the songs on here, uh, they are basically, they cover all his live performances uh, various at various concerts. So it's pretty cool. The pamphlet that came with it, I, I was just so impressed. You know, it, it's amazing. So you've got this, it's really substantial. Uh, like that and it's got all his lyrics with lots of lots of pictures uh, incredible and you know it's like 25 pages so that was a nice bonus to have have that with the box set I've been listening to this CDs of Van Morrison's uh, St. Dominic's preview and it's such a great uh, CD and uh, I, I love Van Morrison and there's one song on there called Almost Independence Day. I mean the whole album is fantastic, right? I don't have it on vinyl, I've got it on CDs, I've been listening to it. And I only recently discovered that album that was released in 1972. It was actually recorded in San Francisco and Almost Independence Day um, was inspired by the San Francisco Bay and apparently uh, Van Morrison was looking out into the San Francisco Harbor Bay and he was inspired to write that song so I think that's pretty cool and I mean the obvious giveaway I guess is in the lyrics he talks about San Francisco you know he talks about Chinatown um, and uh, that, that should give it away but you, you, you always do wonder like how, how were they inspired so he was like physically in the San Francisco uh, Bay Area you know his his out that album was recorded in San Francisco so that that's quite nice to know and that whole album is really fantastic so if I if I see that LP out in the wild uh, I think I'd probably pick it up but at the moment I'm really happy to have the CD and uh, I do have an old car which still has a CD player so I do listen to <laughs> CDs when I'm off to work you know uh, especially when I have to travel long distances long distances for work so and I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing some of the vinyl that I've been playing recently and we're up to uh, 4th of July Independence Day and, and you know it's this uh, summer's here.